In this video, I'm going to be showing you a match defense that is going to slow down compression formations, specifically gun tight in Madden 23. Now, if you want to get my entire match coverage defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, let's take a look at this. So match coverage against gun tight. I'm going to put my zone coverage here to match. That is really important. We are in the 4-6 defensive playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at the nickel over. Now, uh, tight is kind of notorious this year. It's been one of the most difficult offenses uh, to defend. I think it's the number one offense that people are struggling to stop, and so I wanted to give you kind of a little tutorial. Now, uh, what I want to recommend here to you is you have you come out in this cover four quarters play, and then you can have Overstorm Brave, cover one hole, whatever you want. Um, but really important that you have cover six in your audibles. Now, cover four quarters is going to play very similar to the way that cover four show two plays out of the nickel 3-3 three, three cup. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. They're basically the same defense. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at this. So cover four quarters. Cover four quarters is a match coverage. And if you take a look here and I pinch my defense, this is what it's going to look like. Now, I want an audible to cover, fit, cover six just to show you what this looks like. So generally speaking... Um, you know, this is kind of what we have. Now, what I like to do is I want my nickel corner on the side of the running back. Okay, that is the three receiver side of the formation. I think that it makes the most sense to align the defense this way, uh, just kind of given what we're going to struggle to defend. Now, if your opponent knows that you're in match coverage, a lot of times they're going to go to a play that basically looks like this. Um, there might be some other, you know, maybe you have two streaks on the right, but, you know, really the core of the play is on the left side. And if you run match coverage against this, a lot of times this um, this little deep, deep fade is going to beat you to the sideline just like that. This is also going to be a really good way to attack you with bench. Um, bench is a very popular... Uh, very popular passing play as well. And again, we're just going to pinch our defense. And what you should see is that this corner route is going to get open to the sideline, as you can see right there. So there's a couple things that we can do defensively to counter this. One of those is first you have to understand the way cover four quarters works against compression. And it's really a little bit oversimplified with, for this, but this is a basically how it works you're going to get what's known as a box check to the running back side in a tight formation, right? We talked a little bit about this in the latter part of last year and into this year. The game is kind of interesting the way it defends tight. Essentially what it's going to defend like is, is essentially like if the running back, let me show you here, if this was bunch and the running back was the tight end, and then if triangle here, Pickens, if he was the running back, that's kind of... With a, a little bit of oversimplification, that's kind of how they're going to defend this. So you're going to get a box check to the right side. So I want to show you um, what this means. What this basically means is if I run um, the same play bench on the right side, it's going to defend way differently than it does on the left. On the left side, the corner route is going to be open. On the right side, though, this box check is going to pretty well bag the corner route and the out route together. So that's kind of part of the challenge or part of the, the problem is we only get box checked to one side, okay? And this is why we when we call cover six, we want to have this with our cover four side of the cover six, which is the side with the nickel corner. We want these guys on this side because we're going to get a box check to the, to the right side. Now, on the left side, it doesn't work like that. You don't get a box check. You get basically a... To a degree, a special check um, in quarters. Um, essentially, they just kind of play a little wonky. There's not a ton of great match rules uh, within it. But this vertical hook in a cover six defense um, is going to do really well at matching the number two receiver vertically. So in this case, that's going to be George Pickens. And what you'll see here, that vertical hook doesn't match him, but the deep half does. Now, if both receivers run a vertical route... Generally speaking, that vert hook will match. So you're kind of in a, a situation where you're going to win no matter what if you have if you have this vert hook on the side, on the two receiver side. 
um, or I put basically on the side opposite of the running back. So in this example here, I'm going to use this defender, but I just want you to watch this coverage. So this is a little bit of a of a coverage beater, but as you can see here, that vert hook is going to match him, and the deep half is kind of in the area as well. So you see there that this can be pretty decent against um, compression sets. Now, another thing that you can do is you can basically kind of make shift a quarter defense uh, with this with this uh, soft squat defender here. We can simply take this defender and we can man him up and play what's known as outside in. What outside in does in match coverage is let's say that we did this where basically here we're going to have the safety take the number one receiver and that outside corner is going to take the number two receiver. This is going to defend this concept really, really, really well as you can see right there. So those are some simple adjustments that you can make to kind of slow down this really, really popular formation. What you want to make sure that you do is you want to have this vertical hook to the side opposite of the running back. And if they run a flood concept where they're putting this streak there to clear out the deep half, this vertical hook will then match him. And then as you can see here, he's got a chance to catch up with him. Now again, you have a little bit better player there, a little bit more speed, you're gonna be in business. Um, the other solution is if you wanted to stay in quarters, you could do something like this, what I call outside in, which basically what this looks like would be something like this where you know, we sh play hard, flat coverage on the outside, and then we're going to take that outside corner, and we're going to man him up to the inside receiver who's normally on the corner route, and then we're going to man this guy up to the outside receiver. So you see it looks kind of like this, and essentially what we're doing is we're just man locking that backside to kind of, again, focus where our user is going to go. And as you can see, that's another really good adjustment for defending this for lack of a better term, money play. And this is going to do a good job against pretty much anything that they're going to do out of tight. This is going to be a pretty a pretty good formula uh, for defending it. You'll see here, you know, if they were in the, the slot post play that's kind of becoming very popular, you're going to notice here that basically your user defender um, is going to take that post. Uh, we should have taken, we, we would have taken that post with our user. So that's kind of how you can structure your defense out of the cover six. But essentially, in a nutshell, you want to have your cover six side be to the side that is opposite of the running back. And you want to have your match or your quarter side to the side that is on the running back on. Because if they run any flood concept to the right side, then you know we're going to be in really, really good shape. So that's kind of how you want to run this. If you want to learn more about match coverage in general, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.